Hey guys, do you love jewelry making, mixed media art, card making, craft making, all kinds of creative, cool, crafty things? Well, you've come to the right place. Make sure you hit like and subscribe and hit that little bell on the side because you don't want to miss anything. All right, so this is my old art bag. And I'm actually holding my camera, so I'm trying to give you vertigo. But this is what's in here, and it's stuffed. I got this bag at Harbor Freight. Um, and so I've been putting my markers in here on the sides. And I like do like it because it has like nice little pockets and stuff. But I can't put much in here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is... I'll see, I have my Jane Davenport in there. I got my book. See that? My journal. I got my Maggie Holmes, um, you know, stickers in here. And my pastels and I got a lot of stuff in here so what I'm gonna do is switch this bag out and it's heavy all right let's pan my pan over here really fast trying to not trying to do too fast <laughs> to this bag this I got this bag off of AliExpress and it was $25 and I absolutely love it sorry about my lighting guys I'm actually holding the camera so it is so cute and roomy and because it's a diaper bag and guess what it's waterproof so you can stick stuff in here if something spills look at that deep pockets it'll just you can just wipe it up nice little zipper there all kinds of stuff right and then let's look at the outside here and then you have this so you know, technically, I guess you're supposed to put bottles and diapers and stuff in here, you know. But you can put your, you know, your art supplies in there. It has cool pockets on this side. It has cool pockets on here for a bottle of water. So this will make a nice travel bag, in my opinion. And then this is the bottom of it. Really, really well made. I mean, for 25 bucks, you can't beat that. And look at this. The stuff on the back here. We can slide something in there. Put something back here. Sorry if I'm moving the camera too much. So, yeah, I love this bag. So, that's what we're going to do in this video, guys. We're going to switch out the art bag and have us a nice before art bag. And then that's going to be the after. <laughs> okay? This is going to be my after bag. So, I'm going to go through and unload it and uh, I'll show you what I got all right all right so I thought I was recording but I wasn't <laughs> so anyway what I was trying to say when I was recording is I took all the stuff out of the bag and I put it here and I'm gonna um, put some stuff in the new bag and the new pockets and stuff and then after that I'll show you what I did so my new art bag um, and I was saying that some of these spectrum markers I'm probably going to um, keep in there and then but some of these other ones like these I miss tech markers I'm not gonna Keep those in there so I'm just gonna be switching to some things out and putting some new things in all right so I'm gonna show you how roomy it is and how everything works and how great it looks all right so let's get started on loading our new art bag I'm so excited I love my bag it's really really cute all right so what I've done is I found an actual makeup bag but it's nice and roomy I got this at forever 21 on sale it was actually on clearance and it's a little too big for my purse so I said you know what and it's really cute and funky Kind of artsy so i decided well i'm just gonna put it put my markers in it so i'm putting um some of my spectrum noir markers in there and i have some of the tombow markers i'm going to use also i'm going to put those in another pouch and you say well why does one need so many markers <laughs> because when i'm usually coloring my um in my whimsical book or my journal i sometimes like to use markers instead of paint because you know, it's just a little easy to do to use markers instead of carrying around paint, uh, you know, paint and stuff like that because it makes a mess. But now that I got my new bag, I probably have room to carry my little um, these here. I have room to carry these if I want to. My little paint pans. So, you know, I can probably stick those in there as well. But we'll see. We'll see how much room I have or how much. I don't want too much stuff in it. You know what I mean? I don't want to be too heavy and junky. This in my car and take it to Starbucks with me or wherever and. Or, you know, we take a lot of road trips in our family. So, 
you know, if I want to stick it in a car and we want to drive up to wherever or wherever, down to wherever, I can take my art, some of my art supplies with me because sometimes when we do take, take road trips, my husband and my son tend to go to bed early and I'm the one staying up late. I'm a night owl and I don't really like to watch TV that much, be honest. Um, I have a few shows that I like, but mostly I'm up creating. I'm up, you know, uh, coloring in my woman's cool girl's book or I'm in my journal or something like that. I'd rather stay up and, you know, do something creative at night. So I take my some of my stuff with me. So I'm allowed to do that while they're sleeping. I usually, and also I usually take a bottle of wine or have, you know, some wine from sent up to the room or wherever we're at, you know, for somebody's house. I make sure it's okay to have wine. And I sit there and I just do my thing because it helps me decompress from the day. So I like to take my stuff with me. Some people don't like to do that. I do. I love to do that. Plus, I mean, I don't know if I take all this stuff, but I probably do different as maybe, you know, if I was traveling, traveling, like especially flying, I would take just a little bit of stuff and put a magazine in my bag and, um, you know, maybe a bottle of water and some snacks and that'll be it. Because I don't want a, you know, big old heavy bag, especially when you're flying. And I have a four-year-old too. No, no, ma'am. That's too many, too many bags, too much going on. <laughs> so, but this is more like for the car or for the house or, you know, just kind of carrying around locally with me. All right. So it, it could change um, according to what's going on is what I'm saying. So for right now, I'm just going to put some stuff in it that I want in it now. And then I'll, you know, take things out or remove things or whatever. So when you get your, get your, yourself an art bag, if you should have one, and if you can find one really cute, I would suggest getting it because they're hard to find. Really cute art bags are hard to find, let me tell you. And if you do find one, they're crazy, stupid, expensive. So you can get yourself an, a cute little diaper bag for $20, $25 and call it a day. Okay. That's just my recommendation. <laughs> yep. So you can't say you didn't learn nothing on this channel. <laughs> Okay. All right. So I put my Spectrum No War markers in there and they fit great. All right. So I'm going to zip that up. I'm going to put that aside. Now I'm going to decide what it is I need. Like I said, I don't want these. So I'm going to put these back in the, in the cup. I don't want those in my bag anymore because I have the other ones, the Tombow and the Spectrum Noirs. And I like those better to be honest. Um, yeah. So I'm going to put all these back in their little place. If I can find a cup for them. Let me see. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Uh, I have to find a cup for them. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll find a cup for them. So they're going in the bag for now. All right. So these are my Tombow ones. And I might use the Jane Davenport little, little bag for these. And I have these other ones. These, um, I have these Firefly markers. And then I got my little paint pens. So I'm going to have to find a place for those. And then a couple of my little... Um, little glitter pins there so we're gonna find us a special place for those all right and put this in here that's where this goes okay and I usually don't take jewelry stuff with me like beading and anything like that um, unless not I really 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 have to finish a project because the beads I lose the beads and they get everywhere so I leave the tend, tend to leave the beads alone leave those at home I just tend to take my artwork okay so um, yeah, it's too much work to try to take the bees and artwork, too much stuff. So I'd rather just take the art supplies as opposed to beading or anything like that. I have some more of these I must take markers in here. Get rid of these. Yeah. Okay. Put all those back and I have my Tombow ones. So put a, find a bag for those. Now, I probably shouldn't have put all this stuff on here. But, um, yeah. so we'll see here. All right. Gotta organize everything. See what I want in this bag and what I don't want. I definitely want these. I definitely want these. Definitely want the journal. So we'll figure it out. All right. I put some stuff in here. Got my uh, Maggie Home stickers, my drama sticks, and my pens in here. It's my journal. I got my mixed media pad and my markers. So those are the things I definitely want in here. I put these in here because they're very light. And I think I'm going to stick all this stuff in the front. Let me see. Without shaking my table. Oh, yeah, look at that. It fits right, fits real nice in there. I think that's where I want it. Let me see. Let me open this. Okay, that's cute. Or I can stick that there. It doesn't matter, I guess. You know what? Let me see. Oh, yeah, there we go. I'm going to put them there. Sorry if I'm shaking the table. <laughs> and my camera's shaking. Oh, yay, look at that. All right, so I have that, 
And then I have this in here, like this. Hope you can see that. Eh. Wait a second. I probably should have put that in there last, huh? Well, the journal is the biggest thing. All right. Then I put my put my markers and pens in there, and I keep this one in here. This is so roomy, guys. Wow, look at that. It's like a little suitcase. <laughs> I could put the wipes. Um, I'm going to put the wipes. Oh, you know what? Let's put those on the side. There you go. Okay. And then um, we have stickers, but I'm going to have to fix them. So, yeah, they're coming apart. All right. I got to find some place to put those. You know what? I'll put them over here with the Maggie Holmes stuff. Oh, nice big pockets. Oh, I love this. Look at that. Everything's fit it fits so far. Everything. Oh, my God. That's so great. Hold on. So, I have this um, carry-all Jane Davenport. This is really cute. It's so cute. I don't even want to use it. But, I could really use this out of here. I'm going to probably end up buying another one of these, too. So, probably for my makeup and stuff. But, it's so cute. I really want to use that. I might use this one, too. I might switch one of the things out and use that one. Okay. Because you can always put like little stuff in here, like my travels notebooks and stuff might can go in here or something like that. So we'll save those. And then I still have my washi girl stuff and my favorite book, Women's School Girls. So I have to put that in there. I don't think I need that. So we're gonna put that aside. Stuff I don't really need or use. I'm just gonna Heat because those washi it's like those are giant like giant washi tapes. These are so I always use those in my journal or my in my book. All right, so I'm gonna keep this out because I can always put my um, paint in that if I want to keep everything nice and neat, you know. And I saw I'm sorry if my camera angles are weird, but I'm trying to work on a different angle here. Look at that. Let me see. Oh, look it. It fits. These fit just real nice. Okay. Look at that. That's cute. I gotta figure out a place for these. Oh, and I guess I can put them in here, huh? Put everything in there. There you go. One bag. <laughs> Call it a day. Oh, look at that. How cute. Perfect. And I can put that right on top. That's like a lot. That's like a heavy bag, guys. So, if I were to travel, especially dry, if we were driving somewhere, I would take this. If I were flying, I probably would not take this much stuff. I'm just going to be honest. So I'd have to condense it and, you know, pare it down and all that. So I just wanted to fill it up to see how it looks. And I love it. Look, I'm zipping this up. And let's see. Let's zip it up and see how it looks. Oh. All right. I'm kind of close here, but. Oh, look at that. It's, it's full. It's very full. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Oh my god, it's heavy. Look at that. So cute. And it has it's a backpack, so it has the handles on it. Alright. Alright, so I definitely might have to um pare this down even more. <laughs> End up hurting my back carrying it. <laughs> but I just want to see, you know, what I could fit in here. I still got room. Look at that. I still got lots of room. So kind of make it balanced too, you know. So that is what is in my new art bag. Alright. I just want to make a quick little video to show to share with this with you. So if you're thinking about getting a, you know, an art bag or a travel bag or, you know, a little bag to carry your art supplies in, this is a great alternative, the, the uh, diaper bag. I did pay for this, so this video is not sponsored in any way, and I really love it. All right? All right, guys. Well, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. Give this video a like and a thumbs up. And um, make sure you hit like and subscribe. And I will catch you in the next video. Ciao.